Hey guys and welcome to Skilling. In our previous video, we had talked about the evolution of 0G and 1G technology. If you've not watched that video yet, we recommend you do because in this one, we are going to go further down the rabbit hole to talk about the evolution of 2G technology. The evolution of 2G turned out to be very different in comparison to its predecessors because it allowed us ways to communicate through messages and browse the internet through the comfort of our palms. The 1990s witnessed what's called the wireless networking revolution because it saw the addition of various new features to digital phones. 2G was launched in Finland in 1991. It was typically based on digital communication which transmitted data as binary waves. Binary signals could travel longer distances allowing for greater range. This access technology came to be known as Global Standard for Mobile Communication or GSM which soon became the global standard for voice communication. GSM used a technique called Time Division Multiple Access or TDMA. This technique split the frequency into several intervals of time and assigned data was transmitted only during these intervals of time. For example, if every second of the duration of time for which the signal was sent was split between two users, then the first half of the second sent the data for the first user and the second half sent the data for the second user. This automatically reduced interference and there was no need to use guard bands. But this came with the limitation of sharing the frequency among eight users at any point in time. 2G technology also brought about the use of text messaging and allowed data access up to a speed of 64 kilobits per second. While this was very high compared to what 1G technology offered, there was still scope for improvement. The need for data-enabled services brought about the evolution of 2.5G, which was supported by a set of features like GPRS and PSN. GPRS, or General Packet Radio Service, allowed the basic surfing of the internet using what's called as a wireless access protocol. This enabled communication using emails and MMS, or multimedia messaging services, which allowed sending and receiving of images and videos rather than just text. 2.5G promised network speeds of up to 144 kilobits per second. This was enabled by a technique called Packet Switch Network or PSM, which transmitted data across channels by compressing it into smaller packets. Further increase in data rates was brought about with the evolution of edge or enhanced data rates for GSM evolution. This was part of what's called as 2.75G and brought in speeds of up to 384 kilobits per second. Yet another technology which governed the evolution of this generation was CDMA or Code Division Multiple Access. Unlike FDMA and TDMA, CDMA allowed users to use the entire bandwidth which was available to them. But each user was assigned a unique code which was then matched on the receiving end. Think of this as five pairs of people sitting in a room who speak five different languages. While each pair can talk to each other at the same time, no other pair would understand what they are talking about. 2G was a big leap forward in telecommunications technology, but this was dwarfed with the evolution of 3G and 4G, which allowed more contemporary services like video streaming. And this is going to be discussed in further detail in our next video. Until then, stay tuned to Skill Link.